Cam Jordan has come out and spoke about Kyle Pitts. Obviously, Cam Jordan as a Saint, Kyle Pitts as a Falcon, who will become the next great tight end in the NFL. Connor, whenever you heard of Tight End University, founded by uh, Greg Olson, Travis Kelsey, George Kittle, he said, well, they're going to have to have Kyle Pitts, the highest drafted tight end since like 1960-something, a man who, while playing at Florida, everybody said, that's an NFL guy. Now Cameron Jordan of the New Orleans Saints, who's going to have to play against Kyle Pitts two times a year. Cam Jordan ain't scared of nobody. He's been in the NFL a long time. He said, you know, I've been looking. He's a little light in the ass to be a tight end, isn't he? Shot Ooh. the Bleach Report gridiron for pulling that clip from draft the PR draft show. The Bleach Report draft show. He's a little light in the ass to be a tight end. I don't know if that matters anymore with the way the tight end position operates, no. but I like the Cam Jordan's like, let's not get crazy here. All right, still yeah. a rook-ass rook or whatever. I'm pumped to see what Kyle Pitts does. I'm excited to see how they use him, and can he be that breakthrough tight end that everybody has been expecting, AJ? I mean, he should. He's so athletic. I mean, I love Cam Jordan. He's so, like, articulate and, and so, like, me too. Whenever he trashes on like people, he always does it. Like he's not scared. I love his personality. I think he's great for the league. But Kyle Pitts, yeah, hey, Cam Jordan. I don't think Kyle Pitts is going to be trying to uh, to seal the edge with you too often. At least his rookie year, maybe they might give him some time to grow into that role. Travis Kelsey said he has recently started taking a lot of pride in his blocking. He said it had it was something for a while that I think people talked about. And he was such a good route runner and ball catcher and could get open. It didn't really matter. But he said it, it, recently he's taken a lot of pride in his ability to get in front of somebody. Because blocking is just getting yourself in front of somebody. Yeah. Now, can you have the proper leverage to maintain that position? And can you give uh, you know an ass for somebody to run off of, which is what every running back is looking for, just looking for somebody on your team's ass. Let me hit that thing so he can separate it there. But yeah. I think is it an – is it an effort thing mostly? Technique is obviously huge, but effort and mindset is a massive ordeal, right? Huge. Yeah, when it comes to blocking, because it's, guess what? Blocking is not nearly as much fun as running good routes, catching touchdowns. So if you're a tight end, your number one goal is probably to catch touchdowns. So you know if you want to be in the game when it when it matters, you got to be able to block. So, it, But it's absolutely, it's a huge technique thing. Like it's a big deal once they get to the league. And if you have a good coach that teaches them how to block and fundamentals. But then after that, it's just strictly effort mindset. Like, hey, this is something I want to do. I want to be great at that. I think that's what we're seeing with Kelsey. Um, like he I, said it. He didn't take it serious before, probably. Now he really wants to be a good blocker. When I think I saw from tight end you, Travis Kelsey standing in front of Kyle Pitts saying something. That tight end you thing is so cool because Kyle Pitts is going to get a chance right now to – learn the game which is all you're trying to do once you get into the nfl you're hoping that you can learn the game because it's there's so many little games inside of the game there's so many situations that only experience can teach you and you have to be around and learn from and everything like that and the, the, vets can't tell you the cheat code vets can't explain to you how to be great but they can give you a lot of tips that they learned over their time that can make your life a lot easier and give you a lot better chance and i think that tight end you and the uh, what is it, the defensive end, the wide receivers mm -hmm. and corners, like All that type line. of stuff is going to be vital to these young guys, I think. And Kyle Pitts, I hope he was just a sponge down there. I like that about yeah. Cam, though. He did use an awesome football term and just light in the ass. Like, he, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Right, a it's a shot, light. but it's not terrible because that's just something that's always said about people. Yeah, he's a little light in the ass, you know what I mean? And there's scouts, though, that live yeah. and die by the bigger the ass means a lot of things. Yeah explosive mm -hmm. more athletic uh leverage is probably pretty good the you just look at the ass if i see a big ass all right that's the guy i'm looking for he's gonna get off the ball quick mm -hmm. all right that guy has earned that ass I mean, <laughs> that is in the scouting world that is a real thing that happens in football too much probably but well, is lombardi i think lombardi always talks about how al davis would always tell like look for dudes with like bubble asses that's what he wants like that's what he wants for to be explosive athletes. And, you know, especially if your ass starts in the middle of your back, too. Those guys, like their fulcrum, the lever, those dudes can knock people's heads off. I play with some guys like that. Long levers. I mean, it's amazing how quick. It's like Giannis. Giannis got from the free throw line to the goddamn backboard in the time of an alley-oop yeah. somehow. And then the other night he's dunking on somebody. It's, it's unbelievable. It may be – I'm not in a scouting game. But you heard it from Al Davis. I've heard it from people. I think everybody's mm -hmm. talked about it. Is that a real thing? I wonder if that's a real thing. Oh, yeah. 
That's big. Like they, I've talked to scouts that write up reports. Yeah, that's something they mention. Like they want to know. Like the, they have, they all have different terms for how they describe it. But yeah, it's definitely a thing. So we talked about it. In, that's why uh, they're in all those goddamn tights at the combine. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Hey, let's see exactly what we got. We see the cakes. Yeah. yeah see see the cakes. Yeah. What were you? You were running in white tights, AJ. Oh yeah. Uh huh. Coming out of college, you're like, uh, what, let me put these white spanks on. They'll see mm-hmm. this ass. It's like Jesus. Doofus. Look at that pooper on. Oh uh, yeah. yeah. Centerville, Ohio grades quite a dumper, don't Holy they? Holy shit. <laughs> Look at that shit bucket. That guy takes massive dumps. <laughs> Bring him in. <laughs> hey. You know, Pat, don't you think the worst look is, though, like when sometimes like NFL linemen, their pants are super baggy when like football pants are almost impossible to be baggy, but they're real baggy and look like they have a turd sitting back there. Yeah, some guys just have bad bodies uh. and they know it. <laughs> Everybody else knows it. And they got, you know, the, the hiking up the pants of guys. There's some offensive linemen that have terrible lower yeah. half somehow and they still have the leverage obviously so this isn't like a hey need to have big ass but you don't see a lot of dudes that don't have pretty girthy bottoms doing much mm-hmm. in the nfl I-